Hi, I'm Mike Budge. I am working with the water for the Saratoga Springs South Stake in Sar Saratoga Springs, Utah. This is our website. It's uh, www.ssuss.liveprepared.org. Um, all the information uh, that I'm all the all of the information that I have that I'm using to make all these products is going to be on the website. Um, what I'm going to make now is a uh, homemade water filter. Basically, this would allow you to take um, irrigation water or lake water or stream water, river water, muddy water. You could take that water and filter it so that it removes the chemicals and is clear. Um, then once it's clear, then you can um, run the water through a, a uh, ceramic filter or you can run the water through a finer filter to remove more uh, of the larger particles. <coughs> and then the water can be treated with chemicals or boiled at that point to be drank. So, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make uh, Amy's homemade gravity fed filter. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've taken this bucket. This bucket is a fruit, food grade and water grade approved bucket. It's the uh, HDPE number two recyclable plastic bucket. What I've done with this bucket is I've cut away the side and I put plexiglass here so you'll be able to see the layers and how this is going to work. Um, so the first thing that, that uh, it's said is that um, in the bottom of the bucket you want to drill or nail 8 to 12 holes in the bottom of the bucket, small holes, like from, from a small nail or from a small drill bit. So what I'm gonna do is take this drill bit and I'm going to drill these holes through the bottom of the bucket. Okay, so I have about 12 holes there. <clears throat> so what the water is going to do is it's going to come down through. This is where the water is going to come out. And then I have another bucket like this. It has a hole in the top with the lid. It has a little spigot here. This sits up on top of here like that and then the water will drain from here into there. Now if the water that comes through here into here isn't clear enough, then dump it back, dump it back in here and have it go through uh, several times. <clears throat> so basically, what her process is, you take, this is polyester batting, quilting batting, I bought this at like a quil quil uh, quilting store. I'm just going to put it down here like this. And then what goes on top of this is sand, clean sand. Now it's kind of dusty. Sand is dusty.
So there I got a layer of plain sand. This is just sand I got. Um, this play sand I got at Home Depot. It's uh, fairly, it's been washed several times. It's, pretty, it's fairly fine, so it's going to catch a lot of particles for us. And then, um, And then what we do is we put another layer of the batting. And you can pull this out of like uh, blankets, can't you? As long as it's 100% polyester. Yeah, this is a polyester batting. If you don't have that, you could use a uh, blanket. Polyester blanket would work. This is activated charcoal or activated carbon. So you want about three inches of the sand. So we got the bat in, three inches of sand. We got more bat in. Then we're going to have about an inch of the activated charcoal. What this does is it takes any chemicals out of the water or, you know, metals or materials. Then what we do is uh, we put another layer of batting on top of that. Now we put more sand. Now on top of that, gravel or pebbles. So there it is. You got your batting, fine layer of sand, batting, activated charcoal, more batting, fine sand, and then your gravel. And you just pour the water right in the middle there, <clears throat> and it'll slowly filter through and uh, come out the bottom. <clears throat> and what I would do. <clears throat> is take this, <clears throat> put it up on some top of something else. So this water will drain into here. And there it is, it's uh, Amy's homemade gravity fed filter. Um, and uh, this premium activated carbon or charcoal, you can buy this at any pet store because they use this in um, fish tanks to filter chemicals out of the water that the fish live in. So that's where you can pick this up. And remember if you have any questions about the plans of how this is made, they're going to be at this website. And uh, that's it. Thanks. I have a question. Yes. Uh, how many gallons will this filter before you have to replace it? Does it say on there? Oh, yes. That's a good question. The um, filter, this filter is good until it won't, um, until when the water won't flow through this, then it needs to be, a new one needs to be made. That's a good way to do it. Um, because as you pour water in here, dirty water that needs to be cleaned out. 
Um, it uh, eventually this will become clogged up. So when it gets clogged up, it's done. Um, so that would be a good indication of when it's over. The other thing you could do is save another layer of batting to put over the top here. You can pour the water through that and then it can go through the gravel sand. Maybe another layer of filtering. Okay, that's it.